Most certainly. And a little bit of Scottish football here to end for us. Uh, obviously, Rangers unfortunately missed out on Champions League football after their devastating loss uh, to Dynamo Kiev last week, costing them £40 million pounds give or take is that a, a huge blow for them what does that make the rest of the summer look like oh god it's a massive blow for rangers it really is and uh i think it's it's really punctured the balloon in terms of the rangers hopes and expectations to really come back um it's a, it's a especially with the new champions league format uh it's even more expensive than than previous seasons so it's a problem for them i mentioned last week that they're now in a, sl- a slower rebuilding process and it's got to be strategic and not knee-jerk and they've got to now look at a one-two season rebuild and they've got to back Clement to do it however being Rangers and with the pressure they've got on it from the fan base it's very hard to think of that longer term strategic rebuild but nevertheless that would be my advice is what they've got to think about it I think at board level they've got to find ways to bring more resources in financially as well uh, there may well be some restructuring. I don't know what the board's going to do on this, this situation. They hopefully get their uh, stadium back. I've been hearing as recent as soon as sort of early, sorry, late September, early October. Uh, if that's the case, that will be a, a positive move. But still, uh, there'll be issues around that. A lot of mess still at Rangers to be swept up and, and cleaned up. But no, this is this was really bad news for them against Dynamo Kiev. It was the worst possible of, of outcomes for them. For sure, and you know, we spend all summer talking about all the players Rangers need to get in to, you know, help them compete in the league and help them compete in Champions League, and then something like this happens. So, forget signings. If I'm if I'm hearing you correctly, will they now need to actually sell players after missing out on the Champions League? Well, it's it's possible, as I'm saying, that they're going to have to look at a strategic one or two year rebuild, and that may well mean selling players. You'd hope that they can still maintain second in the Scottish Premier League, even with a reduced squad. Uh, and that's got to be their goal, that they take their time and they start to rebuild during the January window or probably next summer is when they would really be a big squad revamp. They've got to try and blood some of their academy talent and they've got to just, as I say, look at a strategic rebuild. And it's painful, uh, but it's something that has to be done now. And they've got to get the resources together to do that. And that may take some time as well.